He got me. Oop, yep, got a little bit of a bite with this little monkey here. Look at that, I'm leaking. You're okay, buddy. You're all right, you're all right, it's okay. Ooh, I tell you what, this is actually the black or what they used to call the southern white lip pythons. And usually he's pretty friendly, but today he's not so friendly. And I tell you what, he's got a pretty decent bite. As you can see, I'm leaking a little bit over here. I just found out recently that black D. Alberts aren't really necessarily southern Indonesian animals, that they actually can also be found in the north. So we've always thought the northern ones were the gold ones and the southern ones were the black ones. But it turns out that that's just not the case. You can find black ones in the south and you can find black ones in the north. And then you can find the the golden ones typically only up north typically is that at least what I've understood nevertheless typically a really good animal and super good I just haven't shown him off in a while but today but today he was definitely a little bit of cranky and gave me a little bit of a love nip boy I tell you what lately I have been getting beaten up by these animals hasn't it been so but hey listen I still love him to death and he's a gorgeous one you know there's a time when I was in Africa and you know that 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 bongo that sound just was in the air and you know what this is that sound And of course, it can only mean one thing. Woo, doggy! That is a lot of eggs right there. Of course, this is a pastel female. She's got so many eggs. Look at her over here. She can't even coil the eggs. They're all over the place. But these are fresh eggs, so they look really good. She just started laying earlier this morning, so that's awesome. And she was bred to this pinstripe, red stripe, yellow belly. Now, the red stripe is really cool with the pinstripe and the yellow belly. So you put pastel in it, you could get a lemon blast, red stripe, yellow belly. That is gonna be absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and set up an egg box and see how many eggs this girl has. And away we go, let's see what's going on. I tell you, these are some big eggs too. I tell you what, that is a beautiful sized egg right there. So we've got four outside of the coils. And again, it just seems like she had so many eggs, she couldn't even fit them in the coils. It looks like she's gonna, mama, don't you bite me, whatever you do, don't you bite me. So we're gonna get those out. Now we're gonna slowly uncoil her. It's okay, baby, I know. You know, it's a bummer. These mamas are saying, please don't take my eggs, please don't take my eggs. The truth is, it's the best thing for them. Not only are the eggs have a higher rate of hatching, but also we can get this girl back onto food because in the wild, she would actually spend the entire 60 days coil around the eggs. Not as many eggs as I thought. I thought she was gonna have a pile of eggs over here too, but they're all good. One little booby egg right here. You see that little boob on the end there? And then the rest look good. So we'll go ahead and get this without getting bit, hopefully. Come on, mama, don't you bite me. I'm gonna take this one egg out here. And these eggs are so big, they're gonna barely fit into the egg box. And here we go. Like I said, they barely fit. Mama, you did so good. Thank you so much for being a good mama. We'll get her cleaned up. We'll get her cage cleaned up. We have two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. And you know what's crazy, guys? This is the first clutch that's 100% fertile. We've had some clutches that just had one slug in, but every clutch has had at least a slug. So we have the first fertile clutch of the year. That is amazing. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't mind, uh, you might see this, you know, fear me shirt right here. Why don't you guys join the army, reptilearmy.com. You can get your swag. By the way, do me a favor, down in the comments, let me know what apparel you like the best on there. And if you have some ideas for us for a new set of apparel, we've got about 10 more designs that are gonna launch next month. So we're gonna definitely be dropping some more stuff there, but I'd like to see what your idea is. So uh, in the comments, let me know what you like and what you might wanna see. Again, join the army, get part of the movement. We need you. I love Dumeril's boa. This is actually Gerald. It's a year old Dumeril's boa. These guys are a Madagascan boa, much like a common boa, but over on the other side of the world in Madagascar. They get about the same size. They have a beautiful temperament, but just look at how cool that pattern is. Of course, we've got the other one that's bread loaf that's a like seven, eight footer, and that's about the size they get. Seven, eight foot, a really giant female, maybe 10 foot, but isn't that an amazing snake? I mean, just I love the pattern on these guys. And like I said, absolutely wonderful puppy dog. Team. I love it when Aries is just hanging out right here. Of course, Ivy does this a lot, and it's kind of one of their favorite spots. You know, part of it is, of course, they've got a nice heat spot right here that's coming down, and part of it is I think they just kind of like to look out and see everybody, to be honest with you. So a lot of times, Ivy will be curled up here, and it's always the same way where their head is like just right near the waterfall, just kind of peeking out. I love it. I tell you what, anacondas are amazing, and I'm not sure we're going to get any babies this year. We saw them kind of courting a couple months ago, but haven't seen any actual hookups, so I 
have a feeling we might have missed this year. That's okay, you know, I don't need to produce a bunch of anacondas. It would have been really cool, but if I don't, that's okay. You know, I'm not gonna complain about it. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't mind, you know this shirt right here? This is actually Reptiles Doing Twister. We have a bunch of designs. There's about 20 different designs you can choose from shirts. You can get backpacks, you can get socks, you can get runners, you can get hats, all that type of stuff. It's at reptilearmy.com. Can you do me a favor? Join the army. Let's make this movement absolutely amazing. Again, reptilearmy.com. We're messing around with Lucky. I'm scared. Come on. It does. Here he goes. Ah! What are you guys doing? Ooh. Get off of do it, Mike. What are you guys Stop doing? Stop touching. I'm scared. He's. He won't let go of my back. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. I've never been bit by him. You've never been bit by him? No. You have to go face first, though, to get him out. Just get him out, Mike. You shut up. You touched me and screamed and broke my this ears. Is true. Oh, he is so mad now. I don't know if I want to. You guys want me to do it? Yes. To show you how to do it. Oh, he's so ready. He can't reach you. He's not even that long. Well, no. now you're just getting him mad. Yeah, okay. yeah oh do it. God. Do it. Here, let me show you how. The worst that happens is you get bit. Oh, your face. You weren't even scared at all, but I was. See, you just take him out like this. Yeah, but you work with him all the time. Yeah. Well, you work with him all the time. You work with him every day. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> See, he's not bad. Oh. He's amateurs, you know? Oh. Gotta teach him how to do things every yeah, now and then. Oh, yeah, you're about to get bit right now. No, I'm not. Oh, Lucky, you're, you want to hold? No, yeah. no, I don't. Oh, shit, not the things. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was going to... <laughs> Good luck, guys. He didn't Thank even you. hit me. Good luck. Okay, hold on. Treat, treat Lucky photo. well. Goodbye. Okay, so today we're gonna be feeding the monitor. We're gonna start with chicken shrimp. Hopefully we can get him to take off of the tongs to... I love these lizards so much. Now it's time for Argamus Prime. Come on, Argus. Come on. Come on. Up, up, up. And chicken. Wait, no, I want the ball. I want the ball. Come on, get it. Oh, don't bump my leg. Yeah, you know, come on. What's, what, what do you want? Chicken? Ball? There we go. I guess I'm for chicken. He used to try to like run out of the cage and everything like that yeah he's good he's definitely getting a lot better because like i said he used to run up, like try to run up this pillar here that went really well so let's move on well we've got two boxes of snakes here these are actually animals that my friend warren sent us that are really just going to go on the bhp website but uh i know there's some ball pythons and there's a few other snakes in here let's go ahead and open it up and see what they go roll that unbox let's go ahead and start with the non-ball pythons and see what is in here all right, what do we have? It says Brian on this. I don't know if the snake is named Brian or if I'm this could just come to me. I'm not sure. If not, we'll maybe call this Brian if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and open it. I always say that Warren is really, really, really good at tying bags because it's really hard for me to untie them. So that's a good thing. That's a, it's a quality thing to be as a snake guy. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Oh, I said we're going to start with non-ball pythons, and I lied to you. This happens to be, it looks like a really beautiful Enchi right here. Maybe an Enchi yellow belly or just an Enchi, not sure. I hope that there's a list in here at some point so I can see. Oh yeah, here it goes, yep. Oh, it's a super Enchi yellow belly. Let me take a closer look at that real quick. I would say more like an Enchi yellow belly, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll talk to him about that one. Another one named Brian. I wonder if he names all his snakes Brian. That'd be amazing. I have a feeling it's just mean that it's going to me, I guess. But uh, anyways, another ball python. This is actually, says a lemon blast yellow belly. Oh no, lemon pastel yellow belly. That's true. Yep, it's really pretty. The lemon pastel, I talked about on the podcast the other day how there's a different lines of pastel. The lemon pastel actually came from Nerd. There's like the Graziani pastel. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. So again, I thought that this was a bunch of non-ball pythons in this bag, but that's okay. We'll just keep on unboxing. All right, next bag. Ooh, oh, gosh, this is pretty. Now, this is a non-ball python, and wow, I love this. Such a pretty snake. This is actually a Darwin's carpet python that is het for albino. Now, the Darwin's have that kind of cool, rusty kind of color, lots of blushing in it. Much different than, say, the coastal carpet pythons. Again, this is in the Northern Territory, and I've actually one time caught one of these in the wild. It was exhilarating to actually see in Darwin, so wow, that's a beauty right there. Next bag, oh, wow, I would, geez, I didn't expect some of this stuff. Again, Warren just said, hey, I'm gonna just throw some stuff in that I think you'll like, and I absolutely like it. Again, this is an albino Darwin's carpet python. Woo, doggy, we have one here at the Reptarium. We have one at BHB that we actually produce that is absolutely incredible, but look at how gorgeous that is. So again, all this stuff, eventually, uh, if you want your own little Brian snake, uh, will be on the BHB Reptiles website. All right, what's in this box? Ooh, this is a pretty one. Check that out right there. 
This is actually a ghost boa that's het for albino. Okay, so the ghost is actually aneurythristic and hypomelanistic, and it just has that beautiful look. That is a ripper right there. And then again, it's het for albino, which means it'd be a triple head. So you'd have hypo, aneury, and albino, which would be a snow hypo, which absolutely is incredible. But wow, that's cool. I haven't had as many boas on the website lately, so it's cool to finally have a couple. All right, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, this thing is, wow! That's a ripper right there. This is, ooh, doggy. That is actually a hypo motley boa. So interestingly enough, motley boas will typically have like connected saddles all the way down with really cool things, but when you put the hypo in it, it almost gets like dotty dashy. Who doggy. That thing is beautiful, and this is a head albino as well. And, ooh, this is another beautiful boa. I love boas, you know what I mean? I just don't work with boas enough, so when I get them, I get really excited about it. This, of course, looks like a hypo motley that is head for albino, and it actually said it was 50% head for blood. Now, the blood red stuff is really, really cool, and then you mix the albino and the blood red, you get all that dragon stuff, then you got the hypo in there, it makes it even more orange, then, oh my God, I mean, just it's just amazing. So, really cool to be adding some cool boas to the website, if I don't decide to keep them, which I have to get by Lori to keep them, because I'm looking at some of these boas thinking, I should probably just raise these up, you know what I mean? I mean, after all, they are named Brian. Time for the beast, baby Kush. Let's see what happens. And that's good enough, because I don't want him to get a hold of that. Ooh! Oh, that one made my legs tingle a little bit. And Brian hands feeds it. <laughs> hey, Bubby Kush. Ooh! Dude. He just ate two days ago. It's not like we starved him. Look at him. I tell you what, guys, I haven't been bit as much as I've been bit in the last couple days in a long time, but it's okay because that's all part of it, and I still love these animals. If you enjoyed this vlog, do me a favor. Hit this playlist right here. Hit a couple videos. I really do appreciate that. On this side, please hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.